Hey y'all, let's make some soup jumu or Haitian Independence Day squash soup. Every year on January 1st, Haitians all over the world partake in this delicious soup to celebrate our independence, reminisce on the bravery of our ancestors, and as a big F you to French slave masters. To get started making this soup, we're going to season our stew meat with ippies, mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, maggi powder, complete seasoning, cayenne pepper, black pepper, a couple whole peppercorns, roasted garlic powder, beef flavored maggi cube, thyme, and olive oil. And I'm going to mix all that together and pop it in the fridge. Now in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and wash and peel the vegetables. Starting with the squash because I want to go ahead and get that cooking as soon as possible. While that's cooking, let's go over to our pan and throw in some olive oil and diced onions. Shortly after that, I'm going to go ahead and add in my marinated beef and cover the pot until it gets hot. At this point, you may want to check on your squash. Once the meat starts to simmer, I'm going to add three small Maggi cubes to elevate the flavor. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of water to help the meat cook and cover the pot for about 10 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to prepare my root vegetables. Here I have some purple malanga, potatoes, carrots, plantains, and radish. You may add any root vegetable of your choice. I'm also making some heart-shaped carrots because why not? It's cute. I made some heart-shaped carrots and I also left some of them regular because I got bored of the heart-shaped carrots. So next I'm going to clean my leeks and celery. These veggies came with a lot of dirt so I had to clean it multiple times. I also slit my leeks off camera so I could go ahead and get in the middle and clean them better. Next, I'm washing up my cabbage and celery leaves. Make sure you select the celery that has some leaves at the top so you can utilize it in your soup. So now I'm going over to my pot and adding in some celery, leeks, carrots, and I'm going to give that a good mix before I go ahead and add in my sliced vegetables and mix that some more. In the meantime, I'm going to strain my boiled squash and add the water used to boil it into my soup pot. Now I'm going to work on my dumplings. Now I know most Haitians do not add dumplings to their soup, but in my household, we love dumplings. So I'm adding some to mine, but this part is completely optional. Next, I'm going to puree my butternut and acorn squash with some hot water using my immersion blender. Then I'm going to go ahead and strain my pureed squash into my soup, and I will be adding in my celery leaves, cabbage, and some cloves. Then I'm going to cover my pot and allow it to come to a rapid boil before adding in my pasta. I'm using rigatoni pasta because that's what I had on hand, but any pasta is fine. I'm going to cover my pot and allow the pasta to cook for about 10 minutes. Once the pasta is al dente, you're going to taste your soup to make sure you have seasoned it to your liking. And that's it. This delicious, creamy, savory concoction is ready to be served. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.